Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a continuation of a previous video I've done in which I've created this tkinter data entry form. So the purpose of this form is to facilitate data entry for professionals who are maybe saving some user data in Excel files, in SQL databases. And in the previous video, what we did is that we created this interface. I walked you through every single step of creating the interface, creating the different elements in the interface and then how the enter data function works. However, we didn't really save the data in any place, in any database or Excel file. Now, the purpose of today's tutorial is to show you how you can save the data you collect using this form in an Excel file. So maybe in a future video, I'll do it showing you how you can add it to an SQL database. But for today's video, we're going to add it to an Excel file. Now, let me first stress one thing. You do not need to be a Tkinter expert to watch this video, nor do you have to have seen the previous one. So this video is a self-contained video simply about how you can use Python to write to Excel files. So if you're not interested in the interface part, that is totally fine. We're just going to talk pure Excel in today's video. All right, so without further ado, let's get started and let's see what we can do to actually write this data into an Excel sheet. Okay, so I'm going to close this interface and let's start talking about the code. Now, Last time, what we did is we collected all these different information. So the first name, the last name, the title, we collected them in numerous variables. So you can see you have a variable here called first name. You can see here, this is where we collect it. We collect last name, we collected title, age, nationality, and so on. So we collected all of this information into Python variables. So today, we're not going to talk at all about the tkinter part. We're just going to think, Okay, I have these Python variables. They contain strings of where I, of the information that I have. I just want to put it in an Excel file. Now, as of now, what happens is we're simply printing them out using these few lines of code that you see right here. So after I enter the data, I print out first name, print out last name, print out title, and so on. So let me actually show you how this works. Now we've seen it in the previous video, but we're going to do it for the sake of demonstration. So let's say I have a user whose name is John Smith and he is, his title is Mr. And then his age is like 24 and his nationality last time for simplicity's sake, we just put the continents rather than putting individual countries. But anyways, let's say he's European. Um, he is currently registered and he accepts the terms. So this is just some sample data. And then I'm going to come here. I'm going to press on enter data. And as you can see, nothing happens except the fact that this information was printed. So you can see first name, John, last name, Smith. And then all of the other information has also been printed here. So this is what we were able to do last time. We collected this information, we simply printed it out to the console. So we didn't really do anything with it. Now let's see how we can write it to Excel. All right, let me actually stop this and let me show you what library we're going to use in order to actually use Excel with Python. So the library we're going to use is called Open Py XL. So this is a very famous library commonly used for different Excel tools using Python. So the way you're going to install it is simply you go to your terminal or your command line, your CMD, wherever you are. Here I'm using an integrated terminal in VS Code. However, you could be using any text editor and any terminal that you like. So depending on what you're comfortable with. All right. So now I'm going to simply pip install open py excel again any terminal and also if you're using a virtual environment make sure to install it inside your virtual environment here i'm not using any for the sake of simplicity but anyways this is the command that you need to execute so pip install open py excel so now when i press enter in my case it's going to say requirement already satisfied so that's totally fine this is because i already have it but in your case this will probably install it it will take about a minute and then you will have open pi excel on your desktop all right now that we've installed it let's actually start by importing it so i'm simply going to import open pi excel next i'm going to import os so why do we need OS? I'll show you later on where we're going to use it. But for now, you need to know that you also need to import OS. Okay, 
So now that we have OpenPy Excel and OS imported, let's start by writing some code. So as you can see right here, currently in my folder, so I'm inside the folder Tkinter Data Entry, there is no Excel file in which I want to write to. So here we're going to take the case where maybe you're starting off and you haven't created your Excel file manually. Now, of course, you could already have this Excel file created manually. You could have created it, copy pasted it into this folder, and then it's super easy to just write the information to it. But I'm trying to show you how you can do the whole process from within Python. So how can I create my Excel file with Python? So this is our first step, creating the Excel file. Let's see how we're going to do it. So first things first, we need to specify a file path. So our file path, in my case, is going to be the following. So this directory slash tkinterdata entry, which is my current folder, slash data.xlsx. So this is how you specify that this is an Excel file. In your case, this path is going to be totally different depending on your machine, your current working directory, where you want to sto store this file. It's all up to you. But this, in my case, this is my file path. Now, why do I have the file path here? Firstly, I want to check if the file already exists. So let's say, for example, I already had the file. I wouldn't need to create it. But if I don't have the file, I need to use Python to create this Excel file. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's say if not os.path.exists file path. What this does, and this is the reason we actually imported OS, it checks, does this file path exist? Does this data file exist? If not, let's see what we're going to do. We're going to actually create it and we're going to use OpenPy Excel to do so. Okay, so now we have the following. I have workbook equals openpyexcel.workbook. So what this does is it will open up an Excel workbook using OpenPy Excel. So an Excel workbook is this thing that you see right here. Usually workbooks look like this in Excel. This is an example of an empty workbook. You, ha you can have multiple sheets. So this is sheet one, you can have another sheet, but Essentially, this is how it works. And also, this is not the file we're going to use. I'm just showing you for reference in case you maybe haven't used Excel in a while or you just want a visual representation of what I'm talking about. So this is Excel. This is an Excel workbook that's open and there are two different sheets that you see right here. I can maybe even create a third one and so on. All right, going back to VS Code. So now that I have actually referred to my workbook and opened up a workbook using OpenPy Excel, what's the next thing I'm going to do? I need to actually talk to my sheet. So as you can see, there are usually multiple sheets in an Excel file, or there can be multiple sheets. Sometimes you're going, only going to have one. But anyways, what we need to do is we need to specify sheet equals workbook.active. Now, what does active mean? Active means get me the active sheet. So get me the sheet that's currently open. Now, going back to my blank Excel file, if I do this and I stop and tell you, okay, what is the active sheet in this scenario? You're going to tell me that the active sheet is sheet three. So sheet three is the active one because it's the one that's currently open. So it's active. So if I were talking to this workbook using Python, sheet three would be returned when we do sheet, oh, sorry, workbook.active, okay? So in our case, we're only going to use one sheet. So workbook.active is going to open up the very first sheet in that workbook. All right, perfect. Now that we've done so, we need to create a heading. Usually most Excel files, when they store data, so let's say I'm storing some user data and I go say first name, last name, and then here I just start typing up a bunch of names. You know, you're going to use this as your heading. This is what contain the names of the different columns that you're using. So we're going to actually create the headings as soon as we create the file. So we only need to do that once. You only create the file once and you add the headings once. Now that I've specified them, in our case, they're going to be first name, last name, title, age. Also note that they're inside a Python list. So this is how OpenPy Excel works. You write stuff using Python lists. So now that we've done that, next I'm simply going to sheet.append the heading. 
So this dot append function, what it does is it takes this Python list and it attaches it, it appends it to your um, sheet. So inside your sheet. So it writes this as a row inside the sheet. So there's a brand new row in the sheet. Now that we've done all of this, you might think, okay, is that enough? Do we now have the Excel file? Not really, because we haven't really saved anything. Now, the way OpenPyXL works is that you first open up a workbook using something like this. Then you maybe write to it. You do some things. You append rows. But then you actually have to save it. If you don't save it, it doesn't really get saved anywhere. And you can actually stop and try it yourself. And you'll see that you will have no results because it will not be saved anywhere. And especially not in the file that we want. So then what we're supposed to do is simply workbook.save. And this is where you specify the file path and the file name. So you can see the file path contains the name of the file as well. I use workbook.save and this should save it in a brand new Excel file. All right, let's actually test the theory out. So we're going to go ahead and run it. And this should open up our application. Now let's say here we have John Smith again and not going to give him a title. Um, any nationality, is he registered? Maybe accept the terms and let's actually try to enter the data. Note that for now we haven't coded anything related to actually entering the data in the database. But for now, what we want is simply to see this file created and to have the heading printed inside the file. So let's press on enter data. Now, as you can see, data.xlsx has been created right here inside our target folder. So I'm just going to shut off the application, go to my folder. So as you can see, this is my directory in my data. This is the same directory that we were using. We have the main.py file and we have the data Excel file. Let me launch it. As you can see, you have here the first name, last name, title, and this is actually the information that we entered. And these are the headings for our columns. So now we have successfully created the file using Python, added a heading. So we added the first row and then we saved the file in a desired location with the desired file name. So for now, this has been a success. I'm just going to close it now. And let's head back to VS Code. So this one was the old file that we were using just for the sake of demonstration. Let me actually delete these just so that we don't get confused. All right. So let me actually head back to VS Code. So now that we were able to actually create this workbook and have the heading and save the workbook, this should not execute again this if statement and all the code within it if the file already exists and let's actually try it out. So let's go ahead, do the same thing. Let's go with Jane Doe and let's accept the terms and let's enter data. So you see the data itself was printed, but are there any changes to the file? Let's open it up again. As you can see, there we go. So as you can see, no information. So it's just the same heading, the same thing. We didn't add anything. This is simply because the actual if statement, the contents of this if statement were not executed. This is because the file already exists. All right. So now that we've done that, what we want to do next is we want to enable Python to actually save the data that we have and actually save it in this Excel file. So other than the heading, we want to save the actual data. How do we do that? So outside of my if statement, I'm going to execute something else. And here, this is load workbook. So this is very different from this workbook right here. Here, we were actually creating a workbook object. We were opening a workbook object. Here, we're calling a function called load workbook. And we specify the path and we're saying, hey, Python, open up this file path. Now, what should happen is if the file path doesn't exist, it will first go through this entire process of creating it. After that, it will load the workbook. Now, if the file does exist, it's going to simply ignore this entire if statement right here, and it will just execute this part immediately by loading the workbook. All right. So now we've loaded the workbook. 
What do we want to do next? We actually want to write the data, the variables, first name, last name, title, age, nationality, and so on. We want to write them inside our sheet. The same, the same thing follows. You need to actually specify the sheet is workbook.active to get the active sheet. Then you will just simply do sheet.append and you create a Python list. And this Python list, what it does, it will simply contain the first name, last name, and all the different variables that we have. So these variables, we put them inside a list. And this list, we just say sheet.append. Finally, the very last step that you need to do is you need to actually save this inside the workbook. So just workbook.save and you specify the file path. So you're saying, please save me inside this very, very same file path. Okay, so this is all the code that we need. Let's go ahead and test it out and let's try to add an additional row or two or three rows to our Excel sheet. So let me run it. And let's go now and just say John Smith and let's actually give him a title. So we're going with Mr. Let's say his age is 23 and his nationality is from Asia. Is he currently registered? Yes, he's finished four courses in one semester and he accepted the terms and conditions. So let's press on enter data. Data was printed. Now, was it actually added to the Excel file? Let's open it back up. So it's loading, there you go. So you have John Smith, and then you have all the information that we just entered has been added to the database. Now, what happens if I add another piece of data? So let's go ahead with Jane Smith. And this time Jane is 26 and she's from Europe and she's not registered and she hasn't taken any courses or any semesters. And let's just press enter data. And again, let's go back and open up the file. And as you can see, the information for Jane Smith has been added, and this is the data entry that I was talking about. So we were able to get the information from the Python code, from our application and export it, add it to the Excel sheet. Now, one last test I want to do just to show you that everything is working fine. I'm going to close the app and rerun it from scratch. So what happens if the app, and let's actually close the file as well, so what happens if the app stops running and we execute it again? Should this also work? Will it overwrite the existing code? So let's go with Max and say his last name is something S. And then let's say he's a doctor and he is, um, let's say, 28. And his nationality is European and he's registered and he accepts. So let's enter the data, close the app again, even though you don't really need to close it. Go back, open up the file. Now, as it's loading, there you go. You have the information that Max entered inside the sheet. So this can be built incrementally, no matter how many times you run or execute the program. It doesn't all need to happen in one execution of the program. As you saw, we actually shut it down. We closed it. We stopped running. Then we read on the program. And as you can see, we were able to add information on top of the existing information. So that's all I wanted to show you today. I just wanted to add this additional part to the tkinter data entry form in which we captured this data and then added it to the Excel sheet as you saw in this video. Thank you so much for watching and I do hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for future videos like this and let me know what else you'd like to see me do with this data entry form. All right, thank you so much and bye bye.